Okay, for this next particular video, we're going to look at the role of philanthropic support for research. So I've got two entities up here, the American Cancer Society and the National Cancer Institute listed on this um, blackboard image. Now, which do you think provides more money for research related to cancer? The American Cancer Society or the National Cancer Institute? The American Cancer Society, many people may know, like they organize a lot of events around the country. Um, they organize a lot of walks. They're very, very much known by the American public. The National Cancer Institute, probably not as well known. To further show this point, I just did a little Google Trends search where I typed in the uh, various terms American Cancer Society and then I also did a comparison with the search term National Cancer Institute and you can see the blue line represents the American Cancer Society the National Cancer Institute represents NCI right and it's red so you can see the blue line clearly above it we can go back to 20 04 and you can see you know and there have been adjustments in how Google does their trend analysis but overall the American Cancer Society for a long time and still has outperformed the National Cancer Institute as a search term I can switch this to as a volunteer organization as a search term um, and switch this to an agency and it really didn't make a hill of beans difference past hour um, again even to the hour American Cancer Society is searched more by people past year you know it's just a big difference there so who do you think spends more money on cancer research now this is an important organization in its own regards as is the National Cancer Institute but who spends more money on research so let's open up the American Cancer Society's information um, you know, this is a little dated, but uh, the American Cancer Society, they committed to doubling their research funding back in 2016 uh, when uh, the vice president at the time, Pres Vice President Biden, had proposed, um, you know, ending cancer by, by a certain date. And, and they indicated that they were going to double their research funding by 2021. And we could look into that further if we want to, but overall they tell you what they were planning on doing they were planning on increasing their annual research expenditures to 240 million so the organization currently spends about 100 million as of 2016 and they grant it to like academic research institutions and cancer hospitals and then they've got their own American Cancer Society investigators so they may use their money very very thoughtfully but overall they invest 240 million um, possibly by like next year but uh, overall they're probably spending somewhere between 100 million and 200 million per year as of like right now when we go back and we open up the National Cancer Institute's budget we're gonna be comparing against kinda like that upward value of 240 million by 2021 so the National Cancer Institute's budget is 5.389 billion not million billion so they are orders of magnitude higher in terms of their expenditures for cancer prevention now research is being done by the National Cancer Institute research is being done by the American Cancer Society a lot of people when they donate to the American Cancer Society they're donating their money to a lot of other things beyond research like supporting people who have cancer and providing information and literature to people who have cancer they're not at odds or competing with one another but it is important for people to realize that their federal tax dollars that go to the NIH National Cancer Institute funds a whole heck of a lot more with respect to research related to cancer than the American Cancer Society. So both organizations play an important role 
and trying to end cancer and trying to like minimize the effect of cancer on society. However, big difference, $5.4 billion versus upwards to 240 million. 5.4 billion versus 240 million. So it's important for people to understand the value of their tax dollars with respect to potentially being used to help cure cancer. Again, American Cancer Society doesn't have a tax base. You know, it's entirely donor supported. So every donation that they get, I'm sure that they do their best to use it wisely if they're going to dedicate it towards cancer research. So it's important information to know.